what is up everybody it's your boy Hunter here from film nerd TV and we are doing the movie trivia schmodown ultimate schmodown round two match two as above the line the team of Sam Levine and the Godfather Drew McWeeny takes on DC movie news now I skipped the intro because if you guys realize this is the third upload, I got halfway through the opening and it turned off on me, so I didn't record it yet. So we're going to go right to where the match starts. We're going to play. We have our whiteboard. We have our markers. And we are going to play. So let's get to it. The Trivia Schmoda. Well, right. Rounded team, Drew and Sam. Well, whew, I mean, what aren't their strengths? Right. 70s, classics, Oscars, all of it's there. They're they very, the very complimentary to team right here. So all know. right, guys. So we are ready to go here. Ken, you ready? I'm ready. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the movie, movie trivia schmodown. <laughs> Introducing first. With a record of one win. No it's a great choice, great choice. I can act, I, I could respect it. The silent assassin, really. Oh, most of the times uh, when I'm in. All right. I, I got to oh. tell you how much I love you in the Wolf of Wall Street. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. So here you go. Round number one. The competitors can stay. Answer the question. Do Here we go. Question number one in the world of dramas. What screen name does Mark Wahlberg give himself in Boogie Nights? Okay, Ken, I'm going to share this document. Oh, great. With Thanks, yeah, man. So that way you can have, mm -hmm. uh, I think, somewhere. There you are. And you have oh, it. my God. There you go. Thank you. Oh. Five, four, three, Two, one, pens down, please. Oh, and Mike Kalinowski. I'm a star, a big bright shining star, Dirk Diggler. That is correct, Jim McQueenie. That would be Dirk Diggler. That is correct. Adam Gertler. Dirk Diggler. That is correct, you creepy weirdo. I love it. And Sam Levine. Exploding lights, Dirk Diggler. That is correct. <laughs> All right. All right. All right, here we go. Next question. All right, guys. Question two category comedies. Comedies. Which Star Trek star directed Three Men and a Baby? You know, I didn't know this. Uh, I did. You did? I did. Don't ask me why. I, did. I had a lonely childhood. Okay, that's fair. And five, Leonard Nimoy. four, three. Rest in peace, man. Live long and prosper. Two, one, pens down. Drew McQueenie. Uh, that would be Leonard Nimoy. That is correct. correct. Adam. Leonard Nimoy. That is correct. correct. Sam. Leonard Nimoy. That is That's correct. correct. And Mike. Leonard Nimoy. There you go. 4-4. Oh, right. four, four, DC start. and above the line here. 4-4. Four, four. All right. Here we next question. Category of action adventure. What is the name of the Yakuza army in Kill Bill Volume 1? Mm. Mm. You just have gas. I actually yeah, I had a lot of pizza that. during you the break. That up? Um, You're setting that up, weren't you? See, I know you so well. Five. Four. Three. Two, one. Adam Gertler. Oh, Crazy 88. That is correct. Crazy Sam Levine. Crazy 88. Correct. Kalinowski. Nope. Missed 99 it. hands. Oh, wow. Where did that come hands. from? And Drew. That would be the Crazy 88. That is correct. Right, so Mike Kalinowski lead. missing. That's the first question he's missed in the first, first round right. in, uh, in two matches. That's right. That's right. <laughs> question four, guys. Category is directors. Directors. Who directed the 2009 Mark Wahlberg drama The Lovely Bone? Like uh, I like I like a Wahlberg heavy first round. Yeah. I think I think we got to pay more respect to Mark. Oh, yeah, I'm just gonna say that. Five, yeah. four, not as good as concerts. Three, two. Could oh. you repeat the question, yep. please? That's one. All right. Who Thank directed you, the 2009 Sam. Mark Wahlberg drama The Lovely Bones? Not a bad movie. Which could have been. Uh, oh, could have been. 
five, four, mm -hmm. three. Uh. I don't have it. Two, one, pens nope. down, and Sam. Nope, I no. can figure his face, can't write his name. Kalinowski. I wrong, but Guillermo del Toro? Incorrect. Drew. Uh, that would be Peter Jackson. That's correct. Yeah, that's and the one. Adam, I could think damn it. Dead Peter alive. Jackson. Yeah! Adam Gertler. Adam Gertler. Adam Gertler. Right. Adam Gertler's Thank been perfect sir. so far. He has. Adam Gertler's he has. been perfect. As 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 Drew. There we go. Drew. Yeah, all right, next question here, guys. Horror slash thriller. Who plays the computer hacker Elizabeth Salander? In David Fincher's The Girl with Dragon Tattoo. Hmm. Hmm. I, uh, I haven't well. seen that one, but I, I, I like girls with tattoos. Do you? Yeah. I've heard okay. great yeah. things about it, though. So. And five, four, three, yeah, I don't know. I'm not, two, not doing great one. Hands down. And Mike Kalinowski. Rudy Mara? That is correct. That's correct. True. That would be Rudy Mara. That's true. Rudy That's Mara. right. And Adam. Rooney Mar. That is Perfect. correct. Perfect. And Sam. This time he came to me, Rooney Mar. There you That's go. Right. All right. All right. Next one, guys. Question six, category fantasy sci-fi. Who directed the 2011 sci-fi western Cowboys and Aliens? I remember both Drew McQueenie and Adam Gurley have been perfect. So Sitting on perfect games here. And the catcher's probably not talking to him at this I'm point in the ball completely game. Wrong. Four, three, two. One pens down, please, and Drew. That would be Fabs, Mr. John Favreau. That's right. correct, Adam Gertler. John, John Favreau. Favreau. Wow, that is perfect. correct, Sam. Johnny Fabs. Correct, Look at that. Mike. John Favreau. There you go. Look, Look at that. that. Both wow. talent. I mean, Gertler and Drew. Who would have thought? This Both, is yeah, together. All right, here we go. So next, next question here. Comic book movies. Who played Hellboy in 2004's Hellboy? Hmm. A little bit. Mm. Yeah, that's the surprise the crowd didn't react more than that. Often yeah, they absolutely. react to the angrily to questions they feel are easy. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Rogue must be off today. Yes. Five, four, three, two, one. Why Adam Gertler. So mad. Ron Perlman. That is correct. Sam Levine. It would be the non billionaire Ron Perlman. <laughs> that is correct. And Ron Oscar. Perlman. And Drew. Ron wow. Right. So now we're going to get into a thing here. If both Adam and Drew hit this particular yeah. question, they will both have a perfect before round. We've never had that before, never so let's had. see. Here we go. All right, guys, final question. Round uh, uh, number eight. The category is coming <laughs> of age. Coming of age movies. In 2016's Edge of 17, Nadine forms a special bond with one of her teachers, Mr. Bruner. Who plays Mr. Bruner? Never seen it, but heard great things about it. Um, God, that's stumped. The verge of history here, Christian. And, and five, four... Three, two, Again. one. Question. Oh, okay. okay. In 2016's Edge of 17, Nadine forms a special bond with one of her teachers, Mr. Bruner. Who plays Mr. Bruner? Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down, please, Sam Levine. Uh, Woody Harrelson. That is correct, correct. Mike. Now, J.K. Simmons. Six. All right, oh, and wow. good guess, but uh, Drew. Woody Harrelson. Perfect. And Adam. Perfect. Woody Harrelson. Adam. Oh, oh yes. Drew are wow. perfect. Perfect round. So here's how it's going to work, guys. So Mike Kalinowski and Sam will not be answering this question. So only Jackson. Drew and Adam will be writing this down, same way you have been, except Sam and Mike will not be on this one. All right, guys, here we go. Here is your bonus question The musical, Grease was released in what year? What year mm. was Grease released in? Christian, I, I watched that uh, movie a lot. As a, I thought that's what high school really was like. All right, it's true. Would you sing yeah. and dance and fly in a car? That's right. why I was asked to leave most classes. All right, yeah. five, four, three, two, one. Start with Adam Gertler. 77. It's incorrect. Incorrect. That'll be 1978. That's that is correct. correct. Wow. So Drew, Drew hits his bonus. Done. But Sir. you got to tell me wow. that Adam Gertler with a perfect round there. Unbelievable stuff Adam there. Adam Gertler and first Drew. Time? And that was the, fir that was yeah, the first time. So both yeah. Drew McQueenie now joining the, the club here. Uh, yeah. Perfect round. Okay, here we go. That was a heavyweight fight in round one, Christian. All right, round number two. Going to work like this. The competitive guys are in the lead. Would you like to go first or second? We're going to go number two. Go second. All right, so DC okay. Movie News, you guys are up. Right. Okay, Mike, so you're going to give it a spin? Yeah, give it a spin. Give it a good spin. Here you go, Mike. Ready? So give it a spin. All right, here we go. Good spin, but good spin. Got a lot of torque on that there, Christian. And it's, 
80s. Give it a spin. 80s. All right. Second spin coming. There it is. And it's, this is, they have to take this one no matter what it is. They have to take it. It might yes. be yes. going back to where? 2000s. 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 All right. 2000s. So they're going to go to 2000s <laughs> here, guys. Okay. All right. In the film Frequency, who plays NYPD detective John Sullivan, who contacts his father in the past via an old ham radio? Jim Caviezel? Two That's points. Two points. There you go. All right. All right. Mm. Actually, TV show now. Who played the 243-year-old Mr. Megorium in Mr. Megorium's Wonder oh, Emporium? Five. Four. It's uh, Dustin Hoffman. Two points. Two, points. Two points. Look at that. Adam Taking Burley a lead. Here. Yeah. What is the name of the character played by Snoop Dogg? In 2004, yeah, Starsky and Hutch. It's Huggy Bear. Two That's points. Right. Two more. Wow. All right. Okay. Who played Patrick Wilson's wife in the 2008 thriller Lakeview Terrace? Five, four, multiple choice. Three, two, multiple choice, please. A. Taraj B. Henson. B. Jada Pinkett Smith. C. Rosario Dawson. D. Kerry Washington. No. Kerry Washington. One point. That's one point. All right. All right, guys, you have two questions left here. Okay. In the whole nine yards, Bruce Willis plays an infamous contract killer who shares a nickname with what kind of flower? Rose? Jimmy the Tulip. Two more right. points there. All right. So now taking a six point lead, final your final one. question here. Final question. Who plays Captain James Wilkins of the British Army who was forced to burn the church full of people in 2000's The Patriot? Not Tom Hanks. Or it's not uh, Mel Gibson. It's five, four, three, two. Multiple choice. A, Jason Isaacs. B, Jared Leto. Jared C, Leto. Tom Hardy. D, Adam Baldwin. Jared Leto. Five, four, three. Isaacs. Correct. That would be Adam Baldwin. One That's point correct. steal there. So at, above the line here, taking the steal. But DC Movie News gives himself right. a little bit of room there. Five point lead here on above the line. They got to hope that above the line hits a category maybe that they don't know very well. <laughs> that might be hard pressed. All right, no, that might that's be hard pressed to find that. All right, guys. So now above the line here is down by five points, but it's their time to spin. Drew, give it a spin. I am. The here we go for the spin. That's a good spin. We can deal with it. All right. Oh, oh no. man. Wow. To throw Rachel Cushing, I'm going to go heal over this bullshit. <laughs> well, we, it's, it's All right. 70s. I think we'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. He's got that magic <laughs> touch. Here we go. All right, guys. Oh, oh, man. And just for the record, Drew says to me right before, he goes, do you want to spin? I go, that wheel fucking hates me. You do it. <laughs> Likes him. He's the god, but they're scared. the wheel's scared of him. So oh. here we go. <laughs> All right, guys. First question, you get six. In what 70s science fiction film does Bruce Dern star as ecologist Freeman Lowell? Two thousand one space odyssey. Silent running. That's two correct. Two points. Oh, <laughs> Who no, played? I'm not any 70s one right. Who played the robot gunslinger in 1973's Westworld? Yul Brenner. Wow, That's two correct. more two points, points for Drew McWeeny there. The 70s working up, okay. In 1975's The Man Who Would Be King, what song does Sean Connery's character sing uh, as uh, before he tumbles to his death? I, I've got to go multiple choice with that, yeah. It's okay. A, God Save the Queen. B, Danny Boy. C, Scarborough Fair. D, The Minstrel Boy. Uh, God Save the Queen. Uh, we're going to go with Danny Boy. Oh, Incorrect. Oh. DC didn't know they were going to have that. Yeah. We're going to go with Scarborough Fair. Incorrect. <laughs> D, the Minstrel Boy. All right. Well, that was, right. they needed that. One miss here. Fourth Dr question. Drew McQueenie proving he's human. Yeah. Yeah. Fourth <laughs> question. What was the final movie in the Planet of the Apes series to be released in the 1970s? Five, four. Return of the Apes. Three, two. Uh, 
Okay, we're going to say yeah, Conquest of the Planet of the Apes. Incorrect. <laughs> Beneath the Planet of the Apes? Incorrect. Battle for Planet oh, of the Apes. Wow. All, all right. right. All right. So, all right, guys. Question five. Who stars as a critic obsessed with Casablanca in Herbert Ross's Play It Again, Sam? Woody Allen. That's correct. Two all points. Right, two more points. Final question in this round. In Deliverance, who plays Lewis, who suffers a bad leg break? Five, four, three. Oh, can you repeat the question? Sure second, can. Second one. In Deliverance, who plays Lewis, who suffers a bad leg break? Five, four, three. Uh, multiple choice. A, Ronnie Cox, B, John Voight, C, Ned Beatty, uh, or D, Burt Reynolds. You say B. Five, four. It's John Voight. <laughs> incorrect. Incorrect. Burt Reynolds? Five, four, three, two. Ned Beatty? Incorrect. Looking for Burt Reynolds. Oh. Burt Reynolds. Wow. So it's only a one-point lead one here. One-point lead on seventies. One One-point lead okay. on seventies here. That's okay. We'll take. All right, it. we're in still. Yeah. All right. So we're right. Go game boys. We got a joint shot. Another round. Man. <laughs> <laughs> Look at DC. DC, DC Movie News ecstatic that, that only they got out of that with only one point behind. Jesus. All Gosh. right, so guys, so now this is a fight here. We get into round number three, and it works like this. The competitors are going three points. Third one worth five can confer. Let's start with above the line. It was a one-point lead. Three numbers, guys. We go with nine, three, and 12. Nine, three, 12. DC. Go for it, buddy. I'm sorry, what numbers did you pick? Can they, you repeat the numbers? They, they Is that pick, a JT They pick roll? 9, 3, and 12. <laughs> okay, we're going to go um, 4, 4, 15, 15, and 17. All right, 4, 15, and 17. All right, so the DC numbers? Movie sorry, News. Trying to make DC numbers. Movie News <laughs> will get a chance here to just throw it right back to above the line if they hit their two-pointer here. They chose category number four. That's Horror Thriller. Okay. Horror Thriller. All right, so who's taking Horror Thriller? Between either you or Mike. Who's, who's oh, us? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it was your turn. I'll take it. All right, here you go, Mike. Who directed 2002's The Ring? The Ring? The Ring. Five, four, three. Wes Craven. Looking for Gore Verbinski. Gore Verbinski All here. Right. All right, so now we go to Adam Gertler. We stay on, we stay with DC. Big miss there by Kalinowski as we jump to Gertler. 15, uh, Adam, your category is coming of age. Coming of age. All right, name the James Ponsult film that stars Miles Teller as a freewheeling high school student who parties hard and wakes up on Shailene Woodley's lawn. Five, four, Teller. three, two. Repeat the question, please. That's your last one. Name the James Ponsold film that stars Miles Teller as a freewheeling high school student who parties hard and wakes up on Shailene Woodley's lawn. Project X. Five, four, three. Two. Mean Girls. We're looking for the spectacular now. Mm. So because DC missed their two, missed their three, they have the 17. If they hit this, it'll bounce back to above the line. However, if they miss, above the line will win via TKO. All right, here we go, guys. Here we go. All right, so your final question here, guys, in order to throw it back to above the line, you got Oscar movies. Oscar movies. <laughs> Two actors have won Best Actor in consecutive years. Tom Hanks was one. Who was the other one? Five. Denzel Washington. Uh, uh, four. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Three. Two. One. James Stewart. And your winner! By way of Technical Knockout, Sam Covey, Drew McQueenie, above the line. Looking for Spencer.
Spencer Tracy. Spencer Tracy was the answer, but man, a little anticlimactic there because yeah. DC fought so hard and only to lose it by they just couldn't hit the those numbers. Three. It's the, the numbers. numbers. They picked three bad numbers. Now we're gonna throw to Emma Five, who is sitting with both above the line and a very disappointed DC movie news. What's up, Movie Trivia Schmodown fans? Emma Fife here with the yet again victorious team above the line. Sam Levine, Drew McWeeny. The two of you are turning into quite the unstoppable force. Well, here's what I will say. A sloppy win is still a win. Uh, we were not necessarily as, uh, as intimidating and as commanding as we were in our first match. Uh, we had some slip-ups there in round two, but we got pretty lucky with uh, DC Movie News' uh, random number picking and the questions that came with those. That is absolutely true. I know 70s is usually such a powerhouse category for you guys, and it wasn't bad, but it certainly wasn't the outright devastation that I think everyone, and especially your opponents, DC Movie News, were expecting it to be. Well, I think that's one of the things about you know the, the movie knowledge. I know a man who would be king, but which song does he sing at the end? Well, okay, that's... When was the last time I saw the film right. so some of these like even if you know the movie even if you're familiar with the material it really is and they should be challenging yeah. uh, you know they don't they don't call this movie easy that so. is absolutely true I mean in the deeper we get into the movie trivia showdown the, the, the deeper the sort of movie trivia knowledge seems to get on every subsequent round so you guys definitely held your own today came out on top but I gotta say that first round Super impressive across the board, but McQueenie, you and Adam Gertler went neck and neck that entire time. That was fun, and that's just one of those things, again, you get a run of questions where you're like, oh my god, all right, and it just feels right for a little while. It Look, you have runs in this thing, and that's one of the things you learn after you do it a few times, is when it when it, when it it's working and when you're on, on a streak, it's a great feeling, so yeah. Well, a very impressive performance, I think on the part of both teams today, mm -hmm. but you guys, you know, you, you did edge out the other team. As you say, their random number picking definitely uh, worked not in their favor in yeah. round three there. Then both of you guys are competing in the singles tournament here as well. I'm still waiting and I'm very excited. Uh, and uh, I know I, I think I'm going up against uh, Bibiani in my first match and I'm, I'm, uh, I'm eager. Yeah. I'm eager to do that. I'm, I'm excited as well. I'm, I'm going up against JTE, and I've never battled someone with his own rule before. Well, there you go. And I cannot wait to see you use that rule against him, Drew McQueenie, as I'm sure you will at some point during that match. I well, have one more important question. Yes. If, if, I don't know if this is your department or whatnot, but if we can somehow make this room more like a Bikram Yoga studio for the next match. Sure. That yeah. I don't know if the sweat running off of yeah. our brows yeah. is yeah. a good of a giveaway enough. Yeah. But I'm actually going to wear a sweatshirt under the blazer next time to make sure that I'm extra hot. Yeah, it's 150 <laughs> degrees in this room. Perfect. I'll see what I can do. Maybe Great, we can just so get an open oven in Terrific. here. That that I think would really help. And maybe some humidifiers. Perfect. Well, congratulations again, team above the line. We'll see you in the next match and we will be right back with DC Movie News. And we are back with Team DC Movie News who are understandably a little disappointed today after what I have to say was an incredible incredibly strong round one mm -hmm. and really not terrible round two especially given the fact that you guys i know were very concerned that above the line spun that 70s category you thought it was going to be absolute devastation but you guys really hung in there uh, uh I, i'm torn right now i'm torn okay, between i'm right. torn between getting upset and going heel and that damn 70s again three times with McQueenie now but it's the fate of the wheel. It's how the game is played. But we had an incredibly strong, like, first of all, I, you know, I was not happy with my performance, but this guy here, you were on that first round, and then getting with the bonus by one, it was a date, and he got it won by one year. This guy is the MVP. People were doubting him last time about, like, you know, Andy Dufresne didn't know this or that from the last our last match, but this guy, I'm so proud of my teammate here. Going in our second round, we got a we got a good category and we yeah. did well. We we didn't lose one. We you know we had to go to multiple choice a couple times, and then 70s. But when that came up, you guys saw my reaction. You know how I felt. You know I'm sure you guys watching. You felt the same way, but it wasn't as strong as they wanted it, it to be for not. them. We had a chance to steal a couple, but we were both in the dark, right? Yeah, on those uh, going into the third round. I mean, I didn't count us out count us out because this guy he he's a wild card. He's a wild man, and. Uh, we were in it. We were down by one point, and we had three numbers to pick. Three numbers to pick. Three numbers, and I have never... Okay, so last two matches, I didn't go to the third round. We didn't go to the third round, our last team's match. We didn't make it that far. We didn't have to go that far. Right, you knocked so them I, out So it's before. been a while since I've been in a third round. 
pick the numbers. I've never seen worse three numbers for teammates than that third round for us. I, there are times when I've seen a five-point question, yeah, who is Bruce Wayne's butler? That's sure. a five-point question. And what we got there, it's the number. It, it is the game. I'm not going to get mad about it. I'm not. It's true. I think that this this match today really reached into the depths of your movie trivia knowledge, asking you to to really pull out all the stops in order to score as many points as possible. And as you say, you were optimistic going into round three because round two ended up not being nearly as much of a devastation as you no, thought it, it was going to be. I, I'm sure people watching home were like, oh, we're done. Yeah. And we weren't. We were in it. You know, we like the true heroes. You, you knock us back down. We get back up. We keep going. Uh and it really just boils it, and down And then we to, just got knocked again. Yeah, the luck of the draw, or in this case, the bad I, I luck know of the draw. I know Classic Clark Wolf is shaking her head at that ring question. <laughs> and uh, But those other two, I, uh, what can you do? You, you, nothing, you, you just knock yourself you down, you get picked back up. It's true. But it, you know what? Look, I think, look at this. Look at this team. This was not my match. This was not my match. This was this guy's match. He proved, we, this proved that we are a powerhouse team. Absolutely. We know our stuff. This guy just showed in that round one how fantastic he is. My round one, the last game, yeah. was fantastic. We're in this. We're not going anywhere. We just got to play. Luck's got to be on our side and, you know, the little it just horror, horror movie wasn't games are watching. Today. Not today. As you say, if yeah. nothing else, today we proved that both of you are incredibly strong competitors because, as we say, it just boiled down to that round three and picking random numbers that you have no control over whatsoever really not working in your favor. It, Again, Adam, perfect round one. Unbelievable. You know, going into this, so I, you know, I'm looking at the brackets ahead and what's going to which, you know, there is a team that we have not had a chance to face yet. They've okay. been, I, I think, even on the opposite side of our bracket. They are some smack talkers. You know, I, I watch the, the Schmodan on the Facebook page. I, I go to all this. Mm. There are these two kids that come in and the mouths on them. And to see, and at first I was talking about me like, okay, they run, they spun action twice in their first two rounds. You know what? Hey, they spin something else, they do well. I'll give them the benefit of the doubt. I'll give them some respect. And they did that. And now they've proven that they are a team. But still, I, I see the attitude, the disrespect on the Facebook page to all the fans they throw out there. And they go after our manager. They'll go after our Wonder Woman. I, I, you know, team action, I'm putting you guys on notice. We're coming for you. Listen, if nothing else, I think Team DC Movie News, it is your duty here in the Schmodown to uphold justice. What did I say before? I was going after this league. I was going after all the heels. That's what I wanted. That was my mission and in intergeeked them in this and that. Singles, tournaments, I'm going after the heels. I'm knocking them out. I knocked Miss Movies out of there. We knocked that team out of there. Team action. They say they're the new heels. We're taking them down before they even get started. Well, they may not be continuing in the Ultimate Schmodown tournament, but we will definitely be seeing Team DC Movie News again today. And though you uh, were not winners, you're still heroes here in the Schmodown. Now, back to you, Ken and Christian. Thanks, Emma. All right, as you see, Mike Kalinowski very upset about the, the miss having those three, knowing that they had it in their grasp, knowing that they made it a fight and they just couldn't hit those three questions. Yeah, they got tough. in the ring and they slugged it out with some major, major competitors. Because DC is a it. major competitor as well, too. Let's they not forget, this is what the tournament's about. They were one point away. All they needed to do was, was hit that two. They could have thrown it back because the same yep. fate could have could have hit above the line. They just couldn't hit one of those questions. That's happened a couple times in this tournament yeah. so far. And now you hear Drew and you hear Sam. These are two guys that are ready to go. They want to play. Drew McQueenie now, he has become a big force here in the team lead yeah absolutely you know sam has got to feel like this a lot of times he's yelling and screaming about the wheel categories rules he's yeah. just winning and having a great time well he's had his luck his i think that ever since that match against dan merle his luck's kind of spun yeah you know what ever since the free-for-all yeah his spun, the luck has just changed because he went from kind of he would win a big game and then he'd lose one but now he picks up drew mcqueen he's doing very well he's going to be entered up into the singles tournament now he's going to be right. going up against william bibiani what do you guys think make sure you comment like share do all of it that's how we get more exciting matches like the ones you got today guys thank you so much we appreciate it go to the schmodown rundown on the sk plus channel make sure you go to the facebook page comment like everywhere you can help us out for ken Absock. i'm christian arla what's up movie trivia schmodown fans josh mcgooga here with your fantasy update post josh i just stepped outside for two seconds <laughs> Uh, Cody it's so well, it's the heat wave here. Uh, DC News, above the line, above the line, pulling out a big win with DC News, uh, movie news, almost pulling out. They missed all three questions in the final round. It could have been a huge, 
fantasy day for either team. Instead, it was a TKO. And that's the breaks, fellas. That's the breaks, ladies. That's the breaks, fantasy ears. I'm just going full unisexual. You guys get it. Listen, if you don't have either team right now and you're in a league and they're just looking at you, pick them up. I'm saying maybe put up three solo acts to try and get them as a team. L lay out your whole team because they could be the Goliath that takes you into championship mode against the Patriots. They are a fantasy scoring machine. They're going to hit 16 points possibly in round one. That's ridiculous. That is so many effing fantasy points. Beautiful team. Beautiful people, not a lot of flair, a whole lot of action when it comes to fantasy. I'm Josh McCuga. It's too hot to keep going. See you next time on the Movie Trivia Showdown. Cody's dead. <laughs>